Hey, ya Buddhist Plachtin. Hello, and welcome to the first Sami lesson of the Cave of Linguists. Unama Lea Sami. My name is Sami. Today we'll be going over what we learned in the first lesson, as well as learning about the personal pronouns, a few verbs, and the conjugations, as well as being able to negate a verb. We'll also be going through some more useful words and sentences. Volgot, let's go. Now. There are a few greetings. A casual way of saying hello is hey. Hey. Which is quite similar to the English hey. Another way is bodes. Bodes. Which means hello. Then, porbiaivi means good day. Porbiaivi. There's also Borre Yidit, Borre Yidit, which means good morning. To say how are you, you can say Modat Mana, Modat Mana, or we can simply say Mo Mana, Mo Mana. To that we can reply dat manaburas gito which means fine thank you or you can simply say bodas which is good to ask someone's name we can say mi dunamalea mi dunamalea to reply you say Munama Lea and you add your name. So for example Hey Wurabiaivi Munama Lea Michel Namadon Mi Dunama Lea Munama Lea Sofia Now if you want to ask someone if they speak English you can say Humatko Engalaskiella Humatko Eangalaskiella If they don't speak English they'll reply with Mun in Huma Eangalaskiella You can replace Eangalaskiella with any other language so you could say Mun in Huma Davi Sam Miguella I don't speak Northern Sami. If a Sami person is talking to you and you don't understand, you can say Mun in Ade. Mun in Ade. Or you can also say Mun in Ethmid. Mun in Ethmid. When talking about where you're from, you can say two sentences. You can say Mun Leon. Edit. Between Lean and Edit, you would add the country or place where you're from. And you can also say Mun Odun. And after Odun, you'd add the place, city, or town, whatever you want. Just put it there. If you want to ask someone where they're from, you can say Ugostun Lea Terit. Gos don leat edit. If you want to say your age, you can say Mun lean yagi buaris. For example, Mun lean guoktelot yagi buaris. I'm 20 years old. These are the personal pronouns in the nominative case. If you are new to the concept of cases, um, I'll briefly explain the nominative case. Usually in a sentence there is a subject. The subject is the person, the object or whatever that does the action. Um, that means that the verb refers to the subject. So for example in the sentence, I read a book, the subject is I and I is a nominative. So, in the personal pronouns, 
in Northern Sami, we have three different mm, ways of explaining how many people are taking part in the action of the verb. So it can be I, the two of us, or we. Mun, moai, mi. Norden Sami has the concept of dual. There is a singular personal pronoun, which is mun, a dual, which is moai, and mi, which means we. So for example, the two of us are reading a book. The two of us, that would be translated directly to moai. Then for second person, singular don, the two of you would be doai, and more than two of you would be di. Third person, son, would be the singular, soai would be the dual, and si would be the plural, referring more than two of them. Now, this you really need to learn. And let's try to conjugate or to use these personal pronouns with some verbs. The most important verb is leat, which translates to be, but has many different uses. So let's see leat's conjugation. Moon lean. Don leat, son lea. Moai letne, doai leahpi, soai leaba. Mi leat, di lehpet, si leat. Easy, right? You just have to learn it off, repeat it as many times as you need until you learn. Now, another verb is. Muitalit, which means to tell. Mun muitalan, don muitalat, son muitala, moai muitaletne, doai muitaleahpi, soai muitaleaba, mi muitalit, di muitalehpet, si muitalit. Now, if we take a look at these verbs, there does seem to be a recurrent theme. The stem of the verb stays the same. However, there is a suffix added to each person. So in mun, we have an, in don, we have at, and in son, we have a. It's quite similar in lean. We have lean. Muitalan, leat, muitalat, lea, muitala. To continue seeing this theme, we're going to see another verb, which is halidit, which means to want. Mun halidan, don halidat, son halida, moai halidetne. Do I hali de ahpe? So I hali de abba. Me hali did. Di hali de hpet. Si hali did. Now, once you learn a couple of verbs, you'll mostly be able to guess the conjugations of the rest of the verbs. However, we're not going to get into the verbs that much. We're just showing a few examples and seeing some of the current themes, by which I mean, for example, with soai, it usually is the stem plus leaba, or doai usually has leahpi or ahpi added to it, and moai usually has etne added to it as well, and all of that sort of stuff. So to negate a verb, or to negate, negate a sentence, we use the negation verb, which is in. 
Now this verb is used with another verb. The other verb, however, is left in infinitive. We only conjugate the negation verb. Here is the conjugation for in. In, it, e, an, eachbi, eaba, eat, echbet, ei. So, for example, with halidit, in halid, an halid, eat halid, etc. That would be, I don't want, the two of us don't want, we don't want. And now let's go over a few more useful words and sentences. Mi oaith nalit hede. Mi oaith nalit hede. Which means bye for now. Oaith naleap mai. Oaith naleap mai. Means see you. These two can be used to say goodbye. When someone says gito, which means thank you, you can reply with leage buore, leage buore, which means you're welcome. Volgot, which is a sentence I used earlier in this video, means let's go. Mun in diade means I don't know. This is another example of negation verb. Diede is left in infinitive, and the only conjugated verb here is in. Another one is i led hjarti, which means it doesn't matter. I is the negative verb, the negation verb, and leat is used here as well. Mi dach pahova means what happened. Mi dach pahova. Then, if you don't know how to say something in Sami, you can ask. Got tien dad ya samegili. Got tien dad ya samegili. How do you say it in Sami? Okay, here I'll be finishing the video and. Thank you to everyone for watching it, and see you next time. Oi, nalea, mai.